Rotator cuff exercises are important, but I commonly find they're not used optimally because people overlook the one key area of the rib cage. If the rib cage is in a poor position, then inherently muscles that control the rotation of the shoulder on the rib cage will be limited. An example of a common presentation I see is this flat thoracic spine with an extended back. If you're in this position, then your scapula is being compressed back against the rib cage, and this can significantly limit how much movement is available at the shoulder in the first place. But if we can decompress that area and open up space between our scapula and our spine, this will naturally open up more range of motion for our shoulder. Now the rotator cuff muscles have more room to genuinely move the shoulder. One easy way you can do that is get in this seated position and stay tall, but protract your shoulders and push your ribs back. Exhale fully but softly through your mouth until you feel a little bit of side abs engage, and then close your mouth and silently inhale through your nose, maintaining a slight bit of that tension. You're going to feel your back open up. After doing this for a minute or two, retry your rotator cuff exercises and see how they feel.